Meet Rational, an AI tool made to help you make better business decisions. Company wants to send me speakers in exchange to a video review. Should I do it? Please say no, please say no, please say no. Rational is a sponsor of this video and for a week I will rely on them to make my all business decisions. The crazy goal for this week to increase my revenue streams and secure at least 10,000 this week. Well, 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 silly past me. I wish you realized in this moment the fundamental issue with this whole challenge. But no, you didn't. We are going to see if I can make more money, be more productive and stop overthinking once and for all. This is how it works. First thing we need to do is to create persona and your specific situation means a lot how you should be making decisions. To create new persona, click this drop down, select new persona. You can either start from scratch or you can use available templates. I selected YouTuber template and I adjusted it to myself. This is how much context I provided. After this, you have four different ways to evaluate decisions. You can use pros and cons, SWOT analysis, multi-option or casual chain. Okay, so let's start making some decisions. Create a paid course on prompt engineering and AI or provide all the information for free and grow my YouTube channel. Yay, provide all the information for free and grow my YouTube channel. Do consulting jobs for money or should I focus on creating valuable content and making videos consistently? Focus on creating valuable content and making videos consistently. We are not going to make course and no consulting jobs for this week. I will have more time, but definitely less revenue. I think I need to adjust my goals. Another thing that I hear a lot that I should open Patreon, which I'm not 100% sure. Let's ask Rationale. Should I create a Patreon account for my audience to support me or get access to more content? Oh, create a Patreon account, but manage it carefully. Okay, I, I guess I will open Patreon. Next one is a pivotal question. Tomorrow I'm traveling with a train to another city with my family. I must make sponsored video, but I don't have time to finish it before I leave true story. Should I bring my equipment and work next days during the time I am not with my family? So in my persona, I wrote that my time with family is very important and I have very limited time to work. But also I said that I like to be accountable with the businesses that I work. So let's see what it says. Okay, so prioritize quality time with family while still working towards creating sponsored video. I guess you're coming with me. So this is rational and right now what decision I want to make is that we have five hours train ride and I can ask should I sleep, should I answer my emails, edit video, answer comments, answer LinkedIn messages or just sit and stare through a window. This is how it looks. So no sleep and no staring through a window because it says I should answer emails, edit video, answer comments and LinkedIn messages. So it's going to be one busy week. <laughs> That's an awesome idea. Cool. I can tell you I'm a huge overthinker, which is a plus because I do my due diligence and I go into research. But sometimes when it's like a decision, should we just jump on a call with a sponsor right now? Um, that could be quite tough. Yeah, I, I'm a big fan. Happy that you took the time. How's it been working so far? Um, I just had a really awesome call. I'm so glad that I made that or rational made the decision for me. I'm thinking to wrap this day up, but I'm not the one calling the shots. The question we are going to ask is, should I stop working? I could join my family for dinner, which would be nice, or should I use the time to start editing this video? Join your family for dinner. Casey nice that transition. So I used Rational so far to make more than 100 decisions for me. I can tell you some of it was really out of my comfort zone. For example, filming in a public. That is 
so weird. With some decisions, I was definitely not comfortable. How much they charge a sponsor? 7K. I was leaning towards 5K, but okay. If you are not doing weird challenges like I am, I don't think you should 100% rely on AI or on any software for that matter. The email came in from one of the sponsors, which my reply was written by AI, decision about pricing was done by AI. Let's see. <clears throat> yeah. We closed the application for this campaign for now, but would love to stay in touch for future opportunities. It's not looking good so far. But on the flip side, I checked another email and the company wants to fly me over somewhere to do really exciting thing. Yeah, so we are good, we are good. So who cares about 7K? There are way more interesting things than money. Said no one, but you, you get the point. But I was extremely productive. The past five days I received 25 sponsorship emails and considered four for the future. I answered all my emails using AI exclusively. Rational told me to decline the offer to promote speakers, but this is an example of using AI to write my emails. This extension is Marlin and right here I have HyperWrite and you can just see that it's not perfect at all. Out of all these plugins and extensions, I found HyperWrite to be the most user-friendly and easy to use. You very quickly reach the free limit and then you have to upgrade. Honestly, I have no clue how the startups are planning to survive once Google introduces Help Me Write. The airline has sent a voucher, but what you really want is a full refund. You could reply and use Help Me Write. Just type in the prompt of what you want an email to ask for a full refund, hit create, and a full draft appears. I had five business calls and three sponsorship calls. Yeah, I've got two important meetings, one with and one with the partner. I realized that they can't show you emails, talk about companies, or disclose contracts I secured this week. But I have an idea how to solve this. And I don't want you to think that everything what I do or YouTubers do is just talk with sponsors. But right now my revenue relies on YouTube AdSense, which I will tell you in a second how much I made in the last five days, but also on sponsorship deals. The interesting part of this is that I actually get to hear from the companies I never heard before and I get to try their products before, of course, I agree to promote anything. It is actually quite exciting, but that's not all. And we still have one day to go. And this evening, Rational decided that I should not join my family for dinner and I should work instead. Um, I'm going to enjoy some pizza. I am back. It's been busy seven days, but I have some crazy results for you. My conclusion with Rational. I honestly have to tell you that whenever I start overthinking, I notice that I start reaching out for my phone to ask Rational, but also it speeded up my decision process, which is a huge plus for me. For majority of the time, I used pros and cons and SWOT analysis, but what I discovered was very interesting. This is causal chain and the unique use of it was helping me to gain alternative perspectives. So for example, if I make a video about how much money I earned, how that could be perceived. Followers accuse you of being greedy and out of touch with reality, or this video leads to new sponsorships and collaborations, and even legal consequences, which I clearly did not consider before starting this video. And I just want to put it out there. I don't want this video to be anything braggy. That's just not me. Even though I can't disclose almost anything, some parts I can still share with you. And that is the actual amount that I earned. Unfortunately, you just have to kind of trust me. In total, the actual plus combined revenue for this week that I secured is... 23,772 euros or 25,654 dollars which is absolutely crazy this this doesn't mean that i'm getting paid this week i will have to work for this money that's for sure but this is just one week's work of securing potential and actual earnings. So out of that, the actual earnings are 6,905 euro or $7,452. And this is crazy because just a couple of months, I had to sell my cryptocurrency investments 
at a huge loss because I was running out of cash and my savings. And now I'm just looking at this. The amounts that I can disclose to you is Google AdSense and affiliates. I got my first nine euros from an affiliate link, which is super exciting. But also in the last week, I earned 1,358 euros from YouTube ad revenue, which is $1,466. Out of potential earnings, some of that is sponsorship deals that I'm actually excited to work with. Others are businesses or projects that I'm getting involved with. This is kind of the last thing I want to leave you with. Some decisions should not be left to AI, nor me. One of those decisions is something like Patreon. So my question to you is, are you comfortable with me working with sponsors, which is at no cost to you, that allows me to do what I do? Or would you like to see me creating Patreon where you as an audience member can actually support me in exchange of extra content? And if you got this far, it would mean a lot if you check out Rational. As much as we have amazing amazing products and community, they are amazing to work with. I highly encourage you to check also Prom Perfect, which is another product by Gene AI that I also talked about.